I would like to share with you a uh, video clip of a typical uh, surgical procedure that we do uh, during our live surgery uh, part of the full arch immediate uh, reconstruction uh, course at the Institute and uh, in fact uh, this course is rather unique because there is nothing like it anywhere literally in the country uh, or the world for that matter uh, what we share with you are some basic uh, principles and concepts with regard to a protocol that is um, again fully guided full arch reconstruction not just guided for surgery i.e. implant placement but also for placement of a prefabricated PMMA monolithic bar supported uh, prosthesis a fixed hybrid prosthesis so this is very unique uh, and it's compared to basically our conversion protocol that we all follow and do for X number of our cases but approximately 90% of the time I'm able to utilize uh, this particular uh, end sequence prosthetic protocol and uh, it really does play on the importance of of a team approach a true team approach meaning that what I encourage you to do you as uh, that are surgical specialists, surgeons and periodontists in particular, is to come to this course and bring your top two, three restorative people so that you can learn the entire protocol together. And by so doing, you will be able to immediately go back and implement everything that we cover. And it's a very comprehensive uh, course, to say the least. And as is true for the entire uh, course spectrum within our continuum, from single tooth to full arch reconstruction at the Institute. This particular course addresses, of course, full arch only and full mouth. And once again, within the confines of our three-day uh, course, we'll go over our typical lecture discussion material. We'll then have a tremendous hands-on um, component to the course that will allow you to uh, appreciate and take advantage of the step-by-step -step protocol involved. Uh, with hands-on uh, work for this particular um, approach. And then we have a segment of live surgery. Typically, it's a maxillary arch that we'll do, and that's what I'll share with you here in just a minute with this video clip. And then we close out with uh, a segment on complications and some marketing elements as well. So we truly encourage the team approach uh, for this uh, particular protocol and therefore encourage Again, use surgical specialists to come with your top two, three restorative individuals to learn it together. So let's look at this video clip. Uh, this is a uh, patient that's in her late 50s and came to us with what we call terminal dentition, uh, meaning just some remaining maxillary teeth that really are not in good repair. And uh, as you're seeing here, we're addressing the maxillary arch full flap reflection. We've edentulated the arch. We're placing what's termed a bone foundation guide, which is part of the protocol that uh, we have followed. And uh, this is indexed into the opposing arch. And now at that point, uh, we're able to uh, drill our appropriate holes for pin fixation. We remove the struts from this foundation guide and we're verifying proof of concept with regard to uh, the lab component versus the reality, which is the surgical component here and you can appreciate the bone reduction that's done in advance now of the uh, surgery. I should say it's, it's done at time of surgery, but the planning was done in advance. So this saves a lot of time versus our conversion protocol, where of course we're doing it intraoperatively via still using guides, but this is such a different um, uh, and better and more efficient approach. So now the surgical guide is pin indexed into the foundation guide. And now we can go about using our appropriate keys for whatever implant system we're working with to fully guide implant placement. Again, predetermined length, diameter, and angulation of the implants. That's all done in advance with our virtual planning, by the way. The entire workup is virtual. And here you're seeing implants are being placed in a very specific manner, uh, times five in the, in the maxillary arch in this particular case. And now the mounts are removed, the surgical guide is removed, and we're just verifying 
the torques of these implants and they're at least 35 plus newton centimeters or greater. Bone reduction is, um, is done as we would typically do with our conversion cases. multi abutments are all, are all selected in advance in terms of the specific type, uh, including cuff height, etc. And you see the handles have been already shortened and to allow for a very seamless experience here with this protocol. The workflow is very seamless. And with each multi unit abutment, we're placing this prefabricated prosthesis and just making sure we have good draw. Torquing down these particular multi unit abutments to the appropriate Newton centimeter, in this case, 30 for this system, this by Horizon system. And now we're basically uh, using the copings that have been prefabricated, um, uh, I should say not prefabricated, but pre selected and cut to size, so that saves more time intraoperatively. That's a huge advantage of this approach, is intraoperative time. And now, as we're showing the copings in place, the, there's a gasket that's there to prevent uh, extrusion of any flowable material that we use to pick up the prosthesis. We're indexing this arch now against the opposing arch and use, uh, using our flowable composite for pickup done in a very precise manner. So this it's more a refinement of this prosthesis that's going to be done once it's now removed from the arch. And while that's being done by my restorative colleague, um, you will see then surgically I will be grafting any residual defects and um, getting primary closure. So there we have a good bird's eye view of the um, implant implants in place with the multi-unit abutments. We're now basically grafting around the defects, into the defects using our particular autogenous bone that we had. Any allogeneic bone we may need to add to that is fine mineralized allograft and PRF fragments and PRF membranes. There's our primary closure. Healing abutments are now removed and of course the prosthesis will be placed into position and um, secured. And once that is accomplished, of course, we'll verify the occlusion once again. And typically, it's just a matter of minutes to uh, equilibrate even a two arch case. So when we look at this, we're, this is a dual uh, cure flowable composite that we utilize and the lower arch will be addressed at a later date. This patient, due to finances, can only afford one uh, arch for now, but that's fine. Uh, and by that, by, when I say addressed, I don't mean we have to do full arch reconstruction at that point, but uh, appropriate restorative work that needs to be done. But here, in summary, we've extracted teeth. We've placed uh, our implants with our foundation guide, multi abutments in place, the copings, our gasket with our prosthesis and in the interim we will have grafted as I've shown you and there's the provisional prosthesis in place and a happy patient uh, to say the least. So again we're transforming lives here at this institute via this particular protocol that we've followed now for some six years. We're more than happy to share our clinical experiences with you, our colleagues and are eager to have you. Thank you so much.